Let me just read from page four. Provide new opportunities to mitigate extremist threat through outreach to traditional Catholic parishes and the development of sources with the placement and access to report on places of worship. That's pretty fancy language for they're trying to put informants in the parish, in the church. That's what this memorandum said, director, from one of your field offices. And you won't let us talk to the people who did it. Any response to that? I didn't know. I was waiting for the question. No, priest, do you think priests priest should be informants inside the church, director? We do not recruit open or operate confidential human sources to infiltrate target report. But that's not, uh, what, this, that's not what this said. It sounds like you were trying to do it in no, Richmond, Virginia. No, no sir. No, you sir. Weren't? This, this didn't happen. You can assure us that this that, didn't happen. That product did not to as best as we can tell result in any investigative action as a result of it. None. You know what the motivation for this was? Why, why would they even think about doing this? You know what the motivation was? Well, again, I think that's what our internal review will find. And I'd rather wait until I hear what the results of that internal. Well, I don't need an are. internal review. I can read the document. I assume you can do the same because it says right there on the same page. Richmond assesses extremist interest in radical traditional Catholics is like to inc likely to increase over the next 12 to 24 months in the run up to the next general election. Same paragraph. Events in which extremists and radical traditional Catholics might have common cause include legislation, judicial decisions in such areas as abortion rights, immigration, affirmative action, and LGBTQ protections. It's politics. That's the motivation. In the run-up to the next election, and they talk about the border, affirmative action, and, and, and abortion rights. It's total politics. I mean, I think it's interesting that affirmative, we just got a decision from a bunch of Catholics who sit on the United States Supreme Court relative to affirmative action. Politics was the total motivation here. And that's what's scary. That's what's, I think, so frightening and why we, why we, how this happens, I don't know. And five people signed off on it. Five people, including the chief division counsel at the Richmond field office. I'd like to talk to this lawyer. And a lot of people in this room went to law school, get a, con a course on the constitution, talks about the first amendment. I find that really scary. Again, when do you think we're going to have a chance? How soon are you going to complete this internal investigation so we can talk to these folks who put this together? I expect us to be able to brief uh, the committee on our internal review later this summer. Will that briefing include the names of the individuals who put this document together attacking Americans' First Amendment liberty? I'm not sure yet what it'll include because it's not done yet, but when it is, we'll provide you with an appropriate brief. What are you doing to fix it so this doesn't happen again? Well, we've already started putting in place a number of fixes, and those will be further informed by the results of the review. What are those fixes? More training, more things, more than the other. That's the same thing you told us on FISA. And while you may have some improvement, you still got 204,000 times the database was illegally searched.